Should I turn back? Oh, they're web decks. Okay. What happens if you fight in the water, I wonder? We're about to find out. I have not fought these spiders yet, actually. Wonder how arrows do against them. 16% chance to hit. Water is plains. Okay. Well, the cleaves will do well here. They'll beeline the guy who's webbed. I see. Well, this is slightly obnoxious. Um, it's okay if Gunther dies. I forgot to equip this guy with his with his um this bow again, but that's okay because actually maybe I can cause some bleeding here. Can you not make Webnex bleed? Okay, so if I do like this, only two things can really attack this guy. Okay, and then we'll go up here. My spear dudes will... Well, actually, we'll step backwards. Technically, I can spear wall with this thing, although it's not ideal. What I wanted to do is get my spear guys down here, and the positioning just completely screwed me over. So I think what we'll do is we'll put blokes down here. So he can spear wall at the start of the next turn, yeah? Okay, Blokes gets to move first, and then of course all the web necks happen, so... Use the spear wall. I almost want to adrenaline again. Yeah. And they avoid the spear wall. Okay, apparently no they don't. Shouldn't I have gotten another attack there? I guess not, because I missed one, huh? Do I get to attack while I'm webbed? I guess I do, but less damage, less defense. It's probably better if I just make these guys bleed. Or did we determine that they can't be bled? Oh. Oh, wait, no, Oxygen. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream, man. They can bleed, but the whip needs to cause a minimum amount of HP damage to cause the bleed effect. Okay. I didn't realize these guys had armor, is the thing. I thought that their natural armor would be kind of weak as hell, like the, uh, like the wolves. Oh, you can free your allies. That's kind of cool. Probably best if I just attack. Dude, if I keep missing, I'm going to lose my mind. Flail here. Um, could lash at the head, but why bother? Not bad. I don't think I bother to unweb myself. I think we just go for the kills. Nice. Hey, he's bleeding. Okay, 
So if I move up here, I would get to whip this guy and maybe take him down before... These guys have enormous initiative, by the way, so they are going to get to move first. Except for blokes, because I used adrenaline. So yeah, we're going to try to kill this thing. Hey, we succeed. Awesome. This guy goes here. That means this webneck is, is stuck next to my guy. Unless he wants to eat opportunity attacks. Which is great, because Sigbold is not even webbed. Alright, Blokes moves first. Uh, hidden opponent. There's more of these things? Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, web me all you want. That's, that's fine. I'm cool with this. Seems like bows really suck versus these guys. Or maybe bows just suck, period, right now. Okay. Adrenaline. So we can have another move. Unfortunately, Inji Matt's not really going to get an attack. Where is he? I could free my ally, which is probably the right thing to do. Yeah. Now, I could free my bros here, but I think it's better if I try to kill this thing. I'm just going to go for attacks here. Um, 51%. Knowing what they can do. I'm sure I'll have a big problem in the near future if I don't start killing these things. Should I, should I be focusing on unwebbing myself? Yeah, okay, sure. This thing's uh, morale is not so good, so I think I kind of just want to attack him. So yeah, like, I can't move if I'm webbed. They web every other round. So if two are next to you, very likely to be perma-webbed. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't... Ah, I'm dumb. I'm completely blind. I thought that thing was dead. That is not a corpse, that's a... Oh my god. Why am I so blind? All right, we'll uh, move Eric down. There sure are a lot of these things. They started out of position, I guess, since they weren't all together. Nice. Okay, four left. That's one, two... I guess that's it. So the other ones are off screen still. Wait, no, three. There's a third one there. This one's morale's fine. This one morale's fine. That one's morale is fine. I guess the best thing to do would probably be to unweb my boy here. Poison, apparently. Okay, I could wait for this guy to be a little more surrounded, I guess. It's probably the right thing to do. Hmm. Okay, Jost is here with his crappy ass bow. I wish this dude wasn't up on a uh, cliffside, but whatever. Hmm. Decapitate, decapitate takes more fatigue, but there's a chance that insta kills it. Hell yeah! Alright. 
So it says three are left, one, two, and then a third one. Who knows where. Doesn't look like I'll be able to approach quick enough to hit this thing with this whip. Like even if I'm here, I don't have enough range. So I'll just move up, I guess. Last one is laying eggs for another batch of ten. I don't believe you. <laughs> lies, lies and chicanery. Okay, I'd like to adrenaline, but I've burned through all my fatigue. Okay, I didn't think that would work, but it was worth trying. Hey, Eric gets a first move because of adrenaline. Um, unfortunately, he does not get to attack. He doesn't have Polar Mastery or anything, so... What I could do is I could move here. Oh! Shit, you're right! They actually are laying eggs! I didn't... I thought you were messing with me. Can I just farm experience off that forever? Eggs are on the battlefield. Alright. Some spider maps start with eggs like they run out after they poop out three to four. So technically it's optimal to... To let as many spawn as possible if you can do it without losing guys, right? Is there any reason to dagger these guys? Are you more likely to get a trophy if you uh, don't break their armor, I wonder? Well, the mobility in this game seems terrible, so I don't exactly see myself uh, hunting down these eggs anyway. I'd like to hit that thing, but I can't, so we'll just whip that guy's ass. So leave the shithole behind. <laughs> yes, indeed. I don't actually see the eggs though, you know, so it's like, ha outside of using ranged attacks, I don't know how it is that I would kill these things. Marginal use to strengthen your own nets. Oh, there's... There's eggs. Are they running away? I think they might be running away. Let's scout the entire battle. Yeah, I saw the falcon. I saw the falcon item. It's like 900 gold. Oh, they are running. Why isn't it giving me an option to, like, let this happen? Because obviously I'm not going to catch them, you know? Should I just spam the enter key? Probably. If you hunt them down, I'm gonna wait. If I hit, it's over. Do I get less loot, even if even from the ones that are? Oh, I can press R to end round. Interesting. We got one poison gland. Huh. Well, that's something, I guess. Uh, did anybody level up? Ng Matt leveled up. Hell yeah. Well, okay then. Terrific. There's that plus one, man. Look at these terrible rolls. If you happen to get a two-handed sword, bro, I'd like to be that honorary member. I don't think I've even seen a two-handed sword in this entire game. Uh, oh, right. He's supposed to be a ranged guy. He's not very good at it, but he's supposed to be.
5k from a weapon vendor. I'd rather kill a hedge knight for it, man. I saw one of those, actually. I did see one of those with a big sword. It might have been a two-hander. Okay, melee. And I think I'm going to give him some resolve, too. You know, the thing is, being, being in good spirits seems like it actually gives pretty good benefits. So, let's see. Willpower and bravery, the higher, more likely that they gain confidence from positive events. I almost think that resolve is like one of the most important things. Okay, everybody gets fast adaptation in the early game. It's too goddamn good. I would take I would take it multiple times if I could. Yeah, two handers is like suicidal. It feels like sometimes. Okay, so NG Matt actually has two-star ranged attack. I wonder... Now, NG Matt's going to be a tank. We're going to... Boom, boom. Just get tons of defense on him. Okay. This game is pure risk. It really is, man. <laughs> it really is. Can we sell this thing for any money here? Um, it says it's worth 250 and we can only sell it for 41 I bet you I can taxidermy that for something cool. Bunch of fishermen here. I think we're good on new hires for now. Let's go to Rottenbach and see if there's a mission there. If not, I guess I'll come back to Neewick and go to some other place on the map. Probably Verser. <laughs> there's no mission here. Cucked. Almost got enough for our banner, too. Okay, we can go to Weis Weisberg, Weisberg, Harkendock, or Grotenhaven. It appears to cost more the further you are away. Harkendock, Weisberg, Grotenhaven. So I'm pretty sure Grotenhaven is down here. Yep. Yeah. We determined that being up here would be kind of cool. We can go to Harkendock. Uh, this is my second campaign, and I've streamed every every moment that I've played. Uh, maybe like 15 hours, 10, 10, 15. Hey, Fred85, how you doing, man? I don't see a Weisberg. Perhaps I'm blind. Oh, it's right there. So yeah, we could go to Weisberg and then... Kind of, let's see, that's a... Let's, let's see, this is... That's a keep, so I can't do missions there. That's a village. That's a village. A small fortification. Uh, I don't know if that means I can't do missions there or not. It looks like probably no. So, maybe going over here is not such a good idea, now that I think about it, because there's really only two villages next to each other, and I, I don't have noble missions open to me yet. I just need more renown. The one benefit of going north, barbarians. What? Do I want to fight barbarians? <laughs> yeah. Village. S large city. Small fortification. It's like it doesn't want to place three cities next to each other. I, I guess what I could do is I could make like a run between these three places, you know? It's quite an investment. 
to head all the way over there though with 450 gold. I'm gonna do it. We'll go to Harkendock. Instant travel, apparently. There's a beggar here. There's a refugee. Schonsberg looks like a good place good place to get cheap armor. I didn't didn't see that. We now have twelve dudes. I guess 12 is your max number of guys. Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. Um, it's a war fork. I don't want to spend the money for it. Let's just get a militia spear. Can keep more in reserve. Yeah, I, I noticed. Alright, these amber shards are bought for 351 and sold for 260. Um, probably not worth it. Or I meant to say, uh, sorry, I meant to say they're worth 260 and being sold for 351. So. Let's give our boy here shield and spear. How's an army going to have 24, I think, if I remember correctly from reading the uh, intro? I'm still always, I'm always unsure exactly when I should buy these trade goods and when I shouldn't, but that looks like it's, they're charging me quite a lot. What's the mission? Uh, wait. Hold on. Get the Elder Stone at the Plundered Battlefield. Okay, sure. Well, this could be incredibly ugly, though. Oh, wait. Oxian was saying there was a place that had armor that I should look at. I don't see it, though. Top of map? Schonsberg? Was that, was that what he said? Oh yeah, because there's a blast furnace there. Oh, I should check my guys. None of them need level ups, right? Yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay, looks like there's some more dead men for me. Many ancient auxiliaries. This is like some Heroes of Might and Magic 2 type stuff. It just says many is eight, huh? I think we can do this. These guys die pretty quickly, to be honest. Um, it's just that bows are not very good against them. I almost want to put like a pike or something in uh, in the inventory of the bow guys for missions like these where they just kind of suck. Alright, it's uh, two to cross dirt. Two, four, six, eight. So they'll probably stop there. So we will wait. Sort of tempted to throw a spear guy up here, so we'll just wait with Gunther. Pikes and whips. Yeah, if I see a whip for sale, I'm going to buy it. So the thing is that I actually don't want a spear wall here because I, I want this dude to be surrounded, yeah? And they'll be smart enough. Well, I think the, un no, the undead will go into the spear walls, so he goes there. Necro savants. Hmm... Okay, we'll just wait with everybody. I 
after I die. It's a lot of time investment in this game, unfortunately, it seems. And then you just die to some bullshit super late. Okay, let's see. Didn't come quite as close as I expected. Uh, yeah, I always play Iron Man. This has no armor, we'll go for him. DCS says no, which is king, yeah. Alright, we're not gonna rush these guys, we're gonna abuse Spearwall. Okay, we are going to equip the whip for when they approach later. Should I back up? Probably. So what we can do is we can... Spear wall and then... Go up a bit. Unfortunately, this guy does not have a spear. I could just, like, walk up and use the shield, I guess. We're just gonna wait. Okay, let's see how this goes. Something tells me they're just going to avoid the upper part of the, the group here. And just kind of try to walk south around Wenzel. Just make everybody wait. Okay, sure. Can I decapitate this thing, I wonder? I bet you I can. Nice. I didn't decapitate, but... Okay, no helmet. He does have armor. I guess I'll just wait with just... Take that whip haters. Huh, they're just kind of funneling in one at a time. I guess I can have Mattis defend if that's gonna happen. He's shield walling, isn't he? Oh shit, I didn't mean to shield wall, I meant to knock him back. Uh yeah, whatever. Just shield wall here. Hmm. This guy doesn't have a shield, let's attack him. Maybe take a step back. This is putting Gunther in kind of a bad position, but... Whatever. Missed. Okay. The spear wall should protect him. To some degree. No helmet, no armor. Go for the guy with no armor. Or just miss a ton, that's cool. Yeah, it does remind me of Diablo as well, actually. Okay, what is this guy holding? I can't even tell. This guy has a broken sword, which I suspect blows ass. Um, I somehow doubt that the whip is going to do too much damage to this dude, but maybe. Why don't we just attack and see? No, that's okay, okay. Need to keep the spear wall up. Can I shield wall and spear wall at the same time? I bet you I can. Believe in the whip and it believes in you. <laughs> yeah. Nice. 
progress. Yeah, spear wall. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I kind of figured it would mess up my fatigue, but what are you going to do? I would like to decapitate. I wonder if that goes straight for head armor, though. 69%. Fuck you. Alright, Mattis is dead. That's that's fine, I guess. There's more of a chance to hit the bottom one, but this is still gonna act, so we're gonna try to get the kill and fail. Too much mischance, man. Did work for a while there, I suppose. That's good. I might just shield wall on uh, Adler. On the other hand, he's he's really not doing too badly. He's just, you know, he's got everything except for head armor. Probably just move forward. This guy's totally unharmed. He's got shield wall up. Maybe I'll just knock him back. That breaks the shield wall. It doesn't really help me do real damage to him, though, does it? Glad you moved him up. What are you saying? All enemies were engaged. Shield wall wouldn't have done anything. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, they wouldn't have moved. Well, I wasn't sure if Undead would ignore that or not. Hmm. 22%, 27%, but this thing actually might die, whereas this is a full HP. Nice. Guess they have infinite fatigue, huh? Next in two turns. Turn done, turn done. Okay, we could possibly take this guy's weapon away. We're gonna try. We're gonna fail. We're gonna attack him at least. I do have to wonder if maybe I should be trying to break their shield walls. Seems like just attacking is the right thing though. Because like otherwise I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to chase them down, you know? Then hit them with the guys in the back. It would be nice to have access to to break some of these shields, but you can sh apparently shoving them stops the shield wall for that turn, you know. It's just like this is outrageous. I'm I'm going to lose I'm going to lose Hildurak probably. Yep. This is outrageous. Yeah, I guess I should be using access to break and then... Because they, they just block too much, you know?
Okay, so now my attacks work. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Everything is hitting. All of the sudden. It's fine. Neither of those guys were cultists, so... Now, I am convinced that the cultist um, indoctrination thing doesn't happen very often at all. Or it happens, but very, very rarely, I mean. conversion about every 30 days. Ugh. That's depressing. Alright, Sigbold is leveling up as well. He's got a perk to get. Everybody gets fast adaptation. Sure, we'll give him more range defense. He rolled well there. Um, Eric is very high level despite the fact that he's a apparently just a gambler. <laughs> it's, it's a long game origin, I see. Uh, he has third level things here. How is his resolve? Compared to everybody else is not good. He's a gambling man who always bets on his life. He's tiny, so it kind of sucks because his melee damage is lower. Oh yeah, I'm taking backstabber pretty much all the time because I need I need more more accuracy. Okay. Now as far as armor goes, we did get a little bit of stuff. I like how Angie Matt's still using the, the cultist hood. <laughs> it's time to switch to these sweet metal helmets, though. guys over here. Um, that armor is broken, but it doesn't matter because we don't have any replacements. We were doing so well on armor before, but now we're not. Uh, I do think that the ancient spear is better than the malicious spear. It's more effective against armor anyway. Flail has been so crappy that uh, we're going to switch out for spears, yeah. That's a boar spear, which is quite good. Actually, there's another boar spear there, which is certainly better than ancient spears. 
Do I want to go Siegward? You know, not a hooked blade. Yeah, I think so. Boom. Boom. And we'll give the hooked blade to our bow guy so that he can be not terrible when the fight doesn't call for bows. Okay, this is a little better, I think. Yeah, whip's been good. I'd buy more if I could. Okay, so there's no mission here. Um, there's a tavern. We'll just go straight to Tonderwald. Maybe we'll go hunt down some of those barbarians. Yeah, disarm seems outrageously good. Oh wait, this is a this is a fortress city. Okay. Any cultists? No. A miner. Deserter. Could have good. We could have good uh, stats, perhaps. It's a bastard. Okay. No particularly interesting items to buy. Okay, we'll just bail. How much is the... Oh wait, the tools are pretty cheap here. I'm gonna buy three of these. That's more tools than we'll need for a very long time. Medical supplies too. Yeah, we'll stock up. This stuff is super cheap. from Knights, Bandit, Leaders, and Fallen Heroes is a great way to make T3 and Legendary gear. Well, that would be nice if we could get some more stuff. Hey, it's Training Hall. Hmm. It's gonna mess with my my income, but it should be okay. I have some stuff to sell here, so it's fine. I should have sold the stuff at the last town, but whatever. Broken ancient sword, hell no. Okay, we're good for another five days, it's good. Mercenary people been wondering about. Uh huh. Important delivery. Caravan guards. Uh, that's not bad. Let's see. Um, more pay. Oh no. Let's uh, let's accept and then need more time to think about it. Schlomberg is four days to the southeast. That's a long ass caravan. I would have taken it if it was like a really short one, but. Schlonberg is... I bet it's like on the other side of the world. Yeah, it's four days in this direction. Fuck uh, no. I do not think so. Okay, I'm supposed to kill barbarians. How many crowns? 720. That sounds great. Need some more time to think about it. And then what's the one skull? You need to go to Yaderberg. 20 crowns in advance, 90 when the job is done. I uh, need more time to think about this. So, Yederberg is all the way over there, and we might be on the way there anyway, but for the time being, let's, uh, let's kill ourselves some barbarians, yeah? Good 
really use some armor for Wenzel, but we might be about to get some armor if we just stab these dudes. Make sure everybody has a knife. We say differently civilized. <laughs> Do we? Do we, though? We had such good luck at the very beginning getting these male shirts and then just none afterwards. Hmm. Hopefully there's not too many of these here. Barbarian armor is meh to stab for. Barbarian armor is meh. Well, you know what? Our guy has, like, a sackcloth on, so... <laughs> mm-hmm. Many barbarian thralls, so I bet that's the level one. Thrall is like a different word for slaves, so... Thralls are weakest, okay. Barbarian music is pretty based. I, I don't think any of these are reach weapons. Of course, they tend to have throwing. Tundra, huh? 3 AP to traverse. 3, 6. Hmm. Thralls don't carry two handed. So I just need to be worried about throwing weapons. They're overloading the right flank. Yeah, on the bottom, I can see that. Although if I just if I just put like two spear well spear wall guys out there that they'll just kind of leave me alone. I bet. Three six. You know what? I'm just gonna spear wall and pass turn. That's what we're gonna do. Rotate forty five degrees. Can I do that? Oh, you mean you mean just like mentally? <laughs> Oh, you're saying you want me to... You want me to become like a line? Rotate 45 degrees to meet them. Uh, I have no idea what you mean. I was gonna just like put two spear wall guys down here. Like move two or three of these guys down here. And that will just bounce them away. Hopefully. Okay, let's see. Who has crappy armor? Who knows? Let's just go for the highest chance to hit. Nice. Good hits. Good injures. Nice turn. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna have to be these two guys. Suggesting re repositioning minor retreat for backline. So, I don't know, I just don't understand what you were suggesting is all. We have five spear guys though, so we should be okay here. I'm gonna wait with him and then we're going to move this guy down here probably. Move your front line to take the impact from them overloading on the right side. Hmm. Uh, they shouldn't get engaged if I put these spear wall guys up here, right? Or are they really gonna travel all the way around? They're just gonna throw shit at me. Okay. They can't really do that easily on this terrain. This is, this is like three costs to move. Uh, let's wait with Eric and Blokes. Maybe they'll come up like I'd like them to. Let's 
turn done, axe in 10 turns. I actually want this thing next to me so that Eric and Blokes can get their attacks. So I think I might just wait instead of spearwalling. Okay, 37. Okay, that's going to wreck their morale a bit. Sadly, there's stuff in the way of me hitting these other guys. 7%, 32, that's not bad. These guys all have actions to take, 369. Just going to put a GMAC here. 29, 33. And again, I'm just going to wait with Secret. I want these guys up next to me. shield wall, but I can't because of fatigue. Nice. Okay, yeah, I should have counted for adrenaline. This would be fine if I hadn't, uh... Hmm. Okay, I think what I have to do is like move up and then we can move up and attack next turn. Yeah. And again, it's time for adrenaline. If I'm lucky, I can move down and then attack this thing. Alternately, we could just like sort of move up and swing. That probably is their best set of weapons. Let's let's get more firepower down here. They have the most guys coming here. I'm going to go ahead and move up and engage, I think. Firing into a group of enemies has a higher chance to make contact. Interesting. And we'll keep that in mind for the future, for sure. Gravely wounded. We could attack him now for 55, or I could move down here and get this thing killed. 80% versus, yeah, let's, let's kill him. Sixty-seven, seventy-seven. He's already moved. He's already moved. to kill that top guy without breaking his armor if possible. NG Matt's in trouble here. But he can't really do anything but be in front, you know? Okay. It's too dangerous. That could hit my guys. Pretty sure, anyway. But if I move here, I get to shoot this guy. Whip them? I don't think Joss has the whip. You're thinking of the other guy? And I very well might. Okay, his turn's done, his turn's done. His turn is also done. Oh, that's a tree. I can't move there. I guess we have no choice as to where to go, then. Three. 
43, 43, 9. So we could use the whip. Um, or I could just, like, shoot down here at this thrall and probably hit one of these other dudes, you know? It's probably best if I just shoot twice. JK, we'll miss. I would have missed anyway. Hand, very good. Maybe I should have shield walled there. Yeah, I probably should have. They're porting this game to the Wii U, really? <laughs> That's surprising. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.